Once upon a time, in a city called Liverpool. <laughs> I'm going to stop there and leave you wondering what happens next. A nice big smile, everybody. 2008 was a great year for Liverpool as we celebrated our status as the European capital of culture. We also embraced the National Year of Reading in a big way. Renowned children's author Anthony Horowitz got our launch off to a great start at Everton Football Club. Her teachers knew that she'd succeed. She loved to write, she loved to read. And of course, Liverpool Football Club also gave their support to our reading campaign. Across the city, people were celebrating reading in museums, theatres, art galleries, on buses, and this is where the ghost of Mr. Mackenzie comes out. Tall ships. And their guns to their throats. And even in libraries. I am royal and grand. I am in charge of everything because I feel the land. Many organisations, including the fire service and police, joined the campaign to promote reading. Very well, with great expression, but keep up the good work. Okay, really good, aren't you? And the power of words brought people together in unusual ways. Businesses gave their reading support to schools. Reading is such a, a basic skill which we take for granted and we wanted to help the children uh, with that, that very basic uh, necessity for, for their future careers in whatever they may do. Pirates told stories to children and libraries welcomed everyone to get involved with reading, even samba bands. My story takes place in a town where everyone hates me, it seems. Perhaps they despise these lame wings that only pan out in my dreams. The words of children's author Anne Bryant were brought to life with TV presenter Dave Benson Phillips. Oh, very good! And the music of the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra in a stunning concert set to a backdrop of artwork by local school children. Our reading campaign received real heavyweight backing when boxing champion Evander Holyfield visited the city to throw his weight behind the message that reading changes lives. That's the whole key to life is being able to learn something when you get older, be able to give back. You know, our community, if we don't give back to the community and be able to help them with the things that we help with, then they fall behind. A host of world-renowned authors came to Liverpool in 2008 and visited schools, bookshops, cafes, libraries and cathedrals, giving readers the opportunity to find out more about the characters and stories that have inspired them. The more you read, the better you'll think and the better you'll write. Lots of ideas come from other ideas, so the more of other people's ideas that you hear the more ideas you'll have yourself. Many events specifically targeted teenage boys who statistically have the least positive attitude towards reading. If you know the keeper, I think most of us related him to Mr Miyagi off, you know, the cratty kid because of the weird ways he teaches them. It kept the suspense in there, you know, you didn't reveal who the keeper actually was till like the very, very end. Yeah. So you're like sitting there thinking who is he, who is he, who is he, who is he, who is he. <laughs> It's really difficult, you have to think. You know, is that too big a clue? Am I giving too much away? The Children's Laureate, Michael Rosen, paid a special visit to talk to literacy coordinators about ideas to inspire young people to read more. Let's begin with reading and why we think it's 
important. The event was organised by Liverpool's primary literacy team. It's the emotional waves of feeling that you have that is important about reading. Schools added extra activities to their literacy programmes, including new and exciting study support after school reading clubs. Children paid tribute to their favourite books and special visits from poets and storytellers inspired young people with intriguing tales and rhythm and rhyme. Now if you really want to succeed, choose the right book, start to read. New writing was celebrated with award ceremonies. I read this poem and this poem jumped out at the page at me. Festivals and book launches. In August, Liverpool gained national recognition for our commitment to promoting reading, being named as the Authority of the Month. And in October, the Telling Tales event came to Liverpool on their quest to find the nation's best storyteller. And out of the room, Flee the bugs and beasts, scattering crumbs from their midnight feast. Busloads full of excited Liverpool school children explored their local heritage and heard stories of ghouls, ghosts and giants. And at the bottom of Mount Oliver, deep in the caverns, there was a dragon. The dragon's name was Oliver. This is what Ginny Greenteeth used to do, was eat children. <laughs> and as if that wasn't scary enough, you see the toilet on the left. Ah! <laughs> the cells and courtrooms of St George's Hall were open for children to experience life as 19th century prisoners. You've done something terrible. You don't know how long you're going to be. Some of you are guilty, maybe of murder, maybe of stealing. Some of you might be innocent, but soon you can be taken upstairs and tried. Libraries were far from quiet in 2008. Attendance soared and monthly events with visiting authors, poets, sing-alongs and award nights saw thousands of people pass through library doors. Schools, families and adult readers were engaged in ways that challenged the traditional idea that libraries just lend books. As a library service we notice adults who haven't been able to acquire the reading skills that they perhaps could have done and we want to encourage them to be able to uh, now improve those skills to improve their life chances. Many reading events celebrated our year as capital of culture and as people became obsessed with words, Liverpool surely became capital of reading 2008. So what do you think, why would you be a good pirate? The 2008 National Year of Reading has undoubtedly made a huge impact here in Liverpool. Hello, for you. I think it's because you're helping me. <laughs> but we must keep the legacy going and ensure that reading continues to change lives. Keep reading, keep enjoying books because books really are the glue of life. That's my belief. That it just, it's what binds us together, it's what connects us, all these wonderful stories. To help and encourage and promote people into a more reading culture is really beneficial to everybody. It's the importance of them expressing themselves through, um, through writing words, through reading books, etc. Uh, it's absolutely critical because not only do companies like ours need people who can think logically, they need people who can think creatively. Books are cool, books are fun, books, books should be read by everyone. And read for fun, read for you, because that's, that's part of finding out who you are. It's got to be something you enjoy, otherwise you're not really going to pick up a book for the right reasons. Reading is, a, to me, it's like an extraordinary gateway, you know, to the past, to thoughts about the future, and to other people's lives and, and ways of being. It's the biggest treasure I think we can give people. Everything starts with reading, and we hope that everything ends with reading also. Make every year a year of reading, and that's it, thanks. Mm, brush it.